This morning in family time, our favorite guys from Mad Science are back. Atomic Allen is here to teach us all about hoverboards. Now, we know they don't work on water, but will they work right here? Well, we'll show. have to find out. Yes, so. we will. Welcome back. Thank you. It's great to be back in the studio. Happy to have outside you Outside the studio. Yeah, now we so. love hoverboards. The idea of these, like, they're no fun. They're toys. They are. But there's some science behind them. There is. So let's, let's start with uh, air hockey. Kids love to play air hockey. And the yeah. way that works is you have air coming up out of the table, and then that disc floats on that cushion of air. Well, you could also do it the other way around. You could have your disc push the air out. So here's an example. This okay. is a, a, a hockey you could play uh, on a floor. This just floats on that same cushion of air. Wow, okay. And so you, you could actually use this uh, to play air hockey, but with hockey sticks sure. on the Sure, and that's right, because there's that flow of air in between, there's just I guess, a, a fan, steady object and another one. Just a fan blowing down out through the bottom, coming out through these fins, and that's what causes it to float. Okay. Now, wouldn't it be fun if you could make one of these? Can so, be. if anybody's ever seen one of these before, they don't know what to do with it. <laughs> Let's tell the kids at home what this is, shall we? <laughs> this is a CD-ROM. <laughs> <laughs> and all I've done is I've taken a water bottle and I've cut it and I've glued it down. But you can also tape it down. Okay. That works really well. Just make sure it's fully attached there, yeah. And then put a hole in the bottle cap. And that way what you can do is that'll restrict the airflow just a little bit because you don't want to get too much air. Okay. And then you just stretch a balloon over the top. We have a lot of these items at home. Absolutely. Which I think is nice. And we love this. Anytime the folks from Mad Science come on, they always give us, you know, they amplify the experiment to, to show us what they can do. But then they also show you what you can do at home, too. So then we just it. screw the top back on. Okay. And now we can do that the same air releases. Thing. And now we have our homemade air hockey puck. This is so cool. Didn't you always want an air hockey table as a kid too? It's like you can make your own. Exactly. And it works by the same principle. It just takes air and it forces it down through the bottom, mm -hmm. comes out through the hole and then the air needs to get out. So it pushes out to the sides and lifts the, the uh, CD up. So scientifically though, what is this process? What is this called? Uh -huh. It's just air. It's, it's creating high air pressure underneath. Okay. And that high air pressure then lifts the CD up. Great. And hover, hovercraft can be quite large. Uh, there are hovercraft that go over uh, large fields and things. Because they're spreading out the air, uh, you could have a hovercraft ride over you. But, but the pressure is spread out over such a large area. Hmm. It's not like a, a car where the pressure is all concentrated on the wheels. Now, of course, there are also sort of intermediate sizes, like one you could ride. Would you like to ride a hovercraft? Yes, well, very I much so. I happen to have one here. Okay. <laughs> Same idea. We put air in here. It comes out through the bottom. And then you can ride right on it. So you want to just it will, hold, it will hold me? It will lift me? It'll lift you right up. Not <laughs> okay. very high, but high enough. All right. So now, I'm going to get on here. And what have you attached to it? I've attached a leaf blower to it. And I'm okay. just attaching a cord to it because I don't want to pull on the extension cord and I don't want you going too far away. Okay. You want to come just a little bit more towards me to see right in the middle? All right. There you go. Okay. And then there are handles on the side if you want them, but you probably won't need them. So this will get really loud, right? This is going to get really loud. Okay. Here we go. Isn't it? it? Because again, you're just riding on that cushion of air. So, so. when we're when we're dealing with this or or that you know experiment at home, how do we know? I guess is it just trial and error of how much air you you're going to need depending on the weight of the object. It being is. Lifted? So the leaf blower, this particular leaf blower has two different settings. At low power, it will do a small child or something like that. Sure. But at higher power, it'll pick you up. It'll pick. Jolting Jonathan up can ride on the hovercraft. You do need a very smooth surface because you need to make sure that you can get all the air to go out to the side and not go down in. Okay, I noticed that you moved us over to the pavement here and then you even requested a table with a smooth, smooth surface. surface. That plays a part in it as it well. It does, because you want to make sure you can get the air to flow out to the sides, not flow down. Will it almost feel trapped in areas if they're not? It, it, you just don't get as much lift from it. Okay, so, really that's what interesting. We want. we want that lift. 
question for you when back to the future came out and they were talking about all these hoverboards did yeah. we know th i mean i'm sure we knew the science behind hovercrafts it hovercrafts existed at that time hovercraft has been around for a very long time there are uh 19 oh my goodness expo 67 up in montreal canada there was a hovercraft that went over the uh river there that people could ride very cool very large so well i would like to go for another ride that's okay. Absolutely. Because I think this is awesome. So hey, if you have all those CDs lying around and you're looking for something to do with it, try that at-home experiment. CD, half of a water bottle, and a balloon. You've got all those things at home. I know you have a junk drawer with random stuff from birthday parties <laughs> that you've never used. So grab that one balloon that's just hanging out, and now you know what to do with it. Or hook up something like this and go for a ride. So I'm going to hang on tight and... Uh, <laughs>